Hello, welcome to Dave's Aquarium Thoughts. I'm Dave. Uh, how's everyone going? Uh, well, I'm going to try something new here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, maybe maybe let's check out uh, some things on the web. Prim primarily, let's check out uh, what uh, on yeah on a website called Reddit, which is r slash on r slash aquariums. Go check that out and see see what they're doing over there. I don't know. I just kind of want to maybe try to some reactions and see how this goes and see how it works for me. Just something new. Just kind of, just kind of, just pondering it out. All right, let me see here. But I mean, the first post right here is any tips for algae carpets, and of course they post a picture, which of course is this picture, which I'm not really a fan of this picture, and I really don't think that's regular algae. That back window probably does need to be cleaned up a little bit. And if you actually read the comments, I blue believe people actually say that is blue green algae. Which is probably not which is probably not healthy for the tank as opposed to regular algae. But I, I've seen actually I've actually seen some nice really algae walls. <laughs> but okay, oh maybe maybe it's maybe the maybe it's the um could be the uh, connection maybe that's better or is this going to be better that's that's probably better because it's larger i'm assuming and this of course this post was by the username beaners xd uh, but that's basically what that is but that definitely doesn't look like regular algae that does kind of look like the blue green algae like the comments are saying in there I'm not sure if I would really, I'm not sure really, really sure I would want a uh, algae carpet, even if it's regular algae. But it would probably be nice to have an algae wall. But then again, that would be hard, hard to probably upkeep. And you'll probably have that algae kind of just growing all over the place eventually. Uh, I know with my, um, I know with my um, tank right here, my multi tank, I did have a lot of algae growing on that before. And that was kind of going, going crazy. Uh, but I don't know if you can really see it from the camera here, but a lot of the algae has actually been cleaning up. Um, I do have some, um, let's see if I can point to it. Um, Pothos right here, I have pothos growing out of it. And if you watch my Instagram, I do have like a long root growing down towards the bottom. And over in that other corner right there, I do, I just put this in probably a couple weeks ago, which is a lucky bamboo. And I have that sitting in the tank and growing out of it. Uh, which is hopefully helping clean the water some, filter that out. Uh, of course, you're probably not going to see this now because I don't have the right window. Uh, but let's go back over to here and see the next post, which is by Mini Clips with a Z, kind of colorblind. This is between 20 ppm and 40 ppm, right? Thanks for your help. And this, of course, is the lovely API test kit. Uh, for nitrate, uh, personally, I probably actually would believe that is more between the 10 ppm or the 20. Uh, but maybe I'm colorblind. But <laughs> uh, I've never. Uh, this is one thing I didn't never liked about the um, nitrate test on the API is I can never tell between the 10 ppm and the 20 ppm. Um, primarily because the color oranges are so close together for me, and I can't really tell. Oh, which is one of the reasons why I actually went with a more digital one, which actually gave you gave you a number, uh, which was a nice kit. Expensive, but it was a nice kit. Um, Derek says, "Yeah, I've always wanted a tank with a black back wall covered with black beard algae." Yeah, the only thing with a, like an algae wall, is it's probably the maintenance would probably be very, very, very hard to do. Um, like I said, you probably end up growing algae all over the place. Um, Derek says that looks more like uh, 20 ppm, but I don't think the uh, OP was correct in terms of being between 20 and 40. That is definitely between 10 and 20. Um, looking at the picture, let me go back to the uh, tab here, which I see see it bigger. Uh, yeah, see, I'd probably say that's more like 10. But then, like I said, I can't, I, I, I can never really tell. I can never tell the difference between 10 and 20. Uh, if you're at 10 or 20, it doesn't really matter in my opinion. You're probably having decent water in the first place, which is all that matters in, in, in the beginning anyways. 
Uh, that's pretty much where you want to be. Uh, unless, yeah, I mean, even if you have plants, but you definitely don't. I mean, even if you get up to 40, that's kind of okay. Although you probably want to work on bringing that down. Let's see here. The next post is going to be, what is my snail doing? I'll put him back on the glass, but he keeps on whirling around in the current. Is he trying to eat the food? I fed him snail food. And I have a feeling this is probably just a snail kind of floating on the top, which I have seen a lot of snails do. Uh, they kind of like to surf around in the current on the top sometimes. Um, I don't know why they do that. If someone in the chat or in the comments, if you're re-watching this, please tell me why snails might do this. Uh, that would pre be appreciated. And, of course, this post is by Mars Martian SPS, if I'm reading that correctly, pronouncing that right. right. But, yeah, it's, it's a lovely snail kind of just kind of surfing on the top of the water. <laughs> Um, I don't have a lot of snails that do that right now, primarily because all I have is Malaysian trumpet snails. And all they love to do is bury in the sand and kind of just kind of climb the walls. Um, and let's see here. Moving on to the next one. This one is before versus after. Uh, this is by Van, Van Acantha Pasafela 57. I'm Probably definitely mispronouncing that big time, but of course I might have to go into the actual thread on this one because the pictures are really, very small and tiny on this one, and that really didn't help. Let's try this again. <laughs> Let's actually go in here and hopefully it's showing on my thing, and of course, ah, there we go. That's a big picture, and of course this is uh, captioned, I caught some croaking gourami from a ditch. And that is supposed to be a croaking gourami. And, of course, there it is right there in the water. Uh, this is captioned after some love and care. They look pretty good. Although, uh, I don't know how you can really tell how it looks uh, from this picture, primarily because it's out of water and just sitting in the hand. So I'm not quite sure on how well that's actually a good representation of how it looked in the ditch. Uh, being in the sunlight might actually be better for it color-wise. Uh, but actually, it looks like a nice little color fish right there. <laughs> Blooding snails always concerned me. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's a... Uh, yeah, with floating snails, I'm not really sure if it's a call for help from the snails or just something that they do just to either look for food or maybe it's an auction thing. I'm not really quite sure on that. I'm really not a snail expert by any means. Um, but I, I've seen some snails do that um, um, before. I really haven't seen in a while. Even though I do have uh, ram's horns in my pistol tank, they really just don't really do that surfing. Yeah, let's see. Um, so Anthony says, never seen a wild caught cro cro uh, croaking grammy look like that. I've got thousands in Cambodia. Yeah, yeah, I kind of, <laughs> yeah, croaking. Yeah, I'm sure maybe this 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 might have been a case where maybe someone is probably one of those fish that ended up in the ditch primarily because someone dumped them in there. I'm pretty sure this is probably not a wild caught one, but a one caught in the quote unquote wild uh, because some person who actually had them in the aquarium before probably dumped them in our waterways and ended up in a ditch, and that's probably how that got in there. Uh, but anyway, it does look nice uh, with the blue finage. Um, and, of course, some other pictures that it didn't take very long. And they quickly learned to eat food. I gave them two. Uh, but, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> the sun definitely does something. It's either the light we give doesn't show the right spectrum for it to reflect back at us, or the sun adds a little bit of spice. Uh, yeah, yes, I, I think I think it probably has to do with a lot of spice that the sun adds into it. <laughs> um, just just like how sun gives us vitamin D, well, allows our body to create vitamin D. I really don't know how that whole process works, um, but <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I know I know my um, my um, my sunfish that I got my long ear sunfish in the uh, pond. Uh, they are really, really looking nice. Uh, one of these days, I'm going to actually probably have to fish them out of the actually 
natural pond and actually show up the colors. I haven't really done that for myself personally, but just looking at them from above and looking into the water, uh, they're a nice coloring red in there. It's, it's very, 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 very nice looking. Um, yeah, <laughs> because light is different for everyone. And I mean, especially if you have uh, different lights as well, different lights um, add different colors and kind of reflects the, off the fish a lot. And if you if you change the colors in your light, sometimes that changes the coloration uh, of the fish as well. If you add some reds, of course, you're going to see it's going to basically make the fish redder. Or if you have blue lights, it's going to make it bluer, um, which that could be the case as well. Maybe they just have more blues in their water and that could be the case as well. And different cameras actually show off differently as well. So there's a lot of different reasons why that is the case. Um, let's see here. Let me show that one instead. Okay, go off to the next post right here. And hopefully everyone is enjoying this. Please, if, if, if you want to comment on that, please let me know if you like this format or not. <laughs> just something I want to try differently, uh, see how it works. It's just added content, I, I believe. It's always nice to actually look on online sometimes and see what other people are doing. And of course, this next post is from Poca Cronatina. Kra uh, this is soon to be first time fish owner here. Uh, what's your word shrimp advice? I might not know, uh, which I'm definitely is not a, uh, I'm definitely not a shrimp pro either. Uh, but these are nice looking orange shrimp. I'm not quite sure on the kind. I'm pretty sure someone in the chat could probably tell. Um, and I'm, if I take a stab at it, I'm probably going to, I'm probably going to say a sun kiss, but I could be definitely wrong on that, but <laughs> replicate something with melanin type cells and the sun activated the cell that replicates vitamin D. That could be the case. Uh, but yeah, I do. I do love the orange colors in that shrimp and, and that green, that green moss or whatever that stuff that they're standing on looks beautiful. Nice green to it. Don't really see much algae to it. And I'm assuming a lot of it hopefully is, hopefully that's a case where it's just uh, from the shrimp actually probably eating all the stuff that you don't want to see on there. But looks neo. Ah, George says pumpkin shrimp. <laughs> looks neo. Uh, is anyone excited for the uh, next, uh, speaking of neo, is there anyone excited about the new... Um, Oh boy, what's that? What's that movie? The Matrix movies, the Matrix Four. Ah, uh, George has some orange shrimp. I used to have some orange shrimp. I used to have some orange, um, uh, some tiger, tiger shrimp, but I don't have them anymore. I used to keep them with some uh, endlers, uh, which I'm kind of wishing I got, picked up some endlers at the last meeting, but I decided to go with the albino red guppies. Um, <laughs> gotta finish the saga. Gotta finish the Matrix saga. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I mean, at first I was, I was, I'm like the Matrix Four. Who really asked for the Matrix Matrix Four? I mean, I mean, it kind of ended at the point on Matrix Three where I didn't really know where they would be able to go. Uh, watching the tra trailer do that though, it is looking interesting. I definitely want to go see it now. But I, it's one of those movies I had to see the trailer first. Uh, anyways, <laughs> back on topic. <laughs> Off to the next post. Ah, this is the last one, I swear. This is by Osha, Oshu Walker. And I have a feeling what this is. I have a feeling this is more tanks. And for some of you, this is probably just an amateur. <laughs> but it definitely is more tanks than what I have. But I do kind of have like the setup. We have like a chair, so you could actually watch whatever's in this tank. Uh, this uh, not this tank, but the tank in front of the chair. I, I I forgot you can't really see where I'm pointing to because of course all you're staring at. Oh, actually, you're not staring at anything. You're just let's see. Makes my head hurt. <laughs> how did the uh, uh, how how did the uh, bio guppies doing for you? Uh, they're doing okay. There's still just four in there. I had four. I. Uh, two males and two females, but of course it's going to probably help when I do this. If I actually uh, do it this way and actually actually load the uh, website, <laughs> it makes my head hurt. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I kind of realized that. <laughs> kind of realized that in a second, but yeah, um, this of course is the last one. I swear. 
which on this, of course, this is pretty amateur to some of you people, especially George. <laughs> this is only like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tanks. But they definitely do have rooms for much, much more, which is a lot more room than I have and a lot more tanks than I have as well. I really can't add any more tanks to what I have, um, which is why I'm adding stuff outside. <laughs> but yeah, I do love the chair that you can just sit there and just watch that fish. Although I kind of wish you could kind of probably watch all the other ones as well. And the view on the other ones aren't too well. And it doesn't really like there's much going on in any of these tanks that I could see. Uh, I see a couple of fish in this one. Uh, I could see some, uh, there's probably some Java fern in there in the middle. Uh, I, I do, I do like, uh, I do like that one in the uh, back on the left. That looks like it's nicely aquascaped uh, with the rocks and the greenery in that one. Um, which that orange thing I'm assuming is probably a betta. Uh, the one, of course, uh, to your right in the right middle, which is the one with the one light stand that's kind of uh, raised up. Uh, that's kind of a, kind of more of a blackish water, greenish. I don't know, greenish water. I don't know. Uh, that's probably just uh, probably from tannins from some some of driftwood probably is just starting out. But yeah. Def definitely amateur according to some of these people. <laughs> Let's see here. I figure move on to the next one. Shallow desk tank. Um, I'll probably end it after. Oh, wait, no, I'll do three more and probably call it a night in this kind of aspect. But uh, this way, this is a shallow desk tank. And this, of course, I do love the aquascape on this one. I love the rocks. I love the carpeting. I love the fact that they have a little break in the carpeting in here in the middle. And I love whatever that carpeting on that rock is in the corner right there. Um, don't see any. Oh, yeah, I think I see some fish. Oh, yeah, I see a couple of fish in the background. Okay, I see. I can see it's more over to the right as well. So there's definitely fish in there. Uh, I don't know what fish are in there. They're kind of small looking. But that's not what I want to do. That's not what I want to do either. Uh, I don't know what fish are in there. Uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing here. But it looks like it's loading up, and I don't want to do that because it's going to be slow loading. Um, some of those look like they're like neons in there. I'm not quite sure on that. And this, of course, is a post by Texture Boy. Uh, I already kind of watched this one. I already opened up this one. This is um, is this proper uh, proper drip acclimation? I'm new to this. Uh, let me see here. See if anyone made any comments, uh, but of course this post is uh, I'm new to this, and this is about proper drip acclimation. This is by Noob42507, uh, and of course that kind of look, looks like an ingenious kind of process. It looks like they cut up a water bottle and added a little thing where it drips water into it. I mean, it'll work. And of course, this looks like it's just for a nerite snail. Although I've never really uh, drip acclimated my snails. Um, I know some people some people do, some people don't. Uh, I think George is a big fan of uh, acclimating fish this way. I don't know about drip, but at least adding some. I'm sure George will probably uh, be an expert at acclimating fish. He, I think he does. Especially, I mean, yeah, you probably do want to do it if, there, if you're doing different kind of water types from soft to hard or hard to soft or different pHs. Um, but I really never really drip acclimate my stuff um, unless it's something that really needs it. Uh, something that's, the water might be different than what it came from. Most fish I get are from local waters. Well, local fish store waters. <laughs> Yeah, just just dump them in your tank. <laughs> That's what I'd probably do with an airite, especially an airite. I'd just dump it into the uh, tank. But I, I do, I do, I do like the uh, in in you in you uh, the creativeness to this uh, method, cutting the uh, water bottle in half and kind of just uh, adding the lid for the funnel and a small little hole to uh, drip acclimate. Um, and this, of course, is. Uh, Stargate Atlantis, 18-gallon, low-profile, do-yourself freshwater tank. Um, Stargate. I never watched Stargate Atlantis, but I have watched uh, Stargate SG-1 a lot. 
uh, definitely uh, in my earlier years. Um, I tried picking it up, but uh, I mean, let me see what they did to this. And this, I think, is a video. So this is by, oh, I don't know the name on this. This looks like uh, TJM, JM. I think there's a letter in between the uh, T and the J. So let's go ahead and open this, what looks like a video. Stargate Atlantis, 18 gallon low profile. Yeah, it looks like there's lots of little fishies in here. And then there, of course, is the Stargate right there in the right hand side. And I think this is just one of those tanks where they just add that Stargate on the side and just call it a Stargate uh, Atlantis tank. Oh, okay. I see. I see what the fishes are in here now. I see a beta in there, and I see, I don't know what those are. I can't really tell right now. <clears throat> I love the, uh, this is something I would love to do, actually have a little fog on the top, uh, but I'm not advanced yet. <laughs> I don't have the, um, let's see, yeah, let's see, this looks like a pretty nice, uh, not pretty nice setup. I love the setup, though. Uh, Lunatic Fringe uh, wants to know, George, uh, how are you Tank and Inca Cichlids doing? Oh, but yeah, I definitely love the way that they have this tank set up. I am loving this one. Nice little waterfall right area, and they kind of break it up with that little slate of rock right in front of it, so it kind of disperses the water more. Huh. That's This is a very interesting setup. <clears throat> I am really glad I found this one. This is just an interesting, interesting setup. Something I wish I had the time to actually do. Oh, okay, a close up with the fish is there. Okay, looks like uh, white cloud minnows. I think. I could be wrong on that. Please let me know what these are. I, I want to say they are albino. Uh, not, I don't know. Gold. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm probably wrong on that. <laughs> but I could be right. <clears throat> uh, anyways, there's the end of that video. But that, that, that was an excellent looking. Uh, Tank and I'm gonna I'm gonna do one more because basically this one is by Little Moon two two four and they're saying, "Yay, your parents didn't eat you, baby tiger badis." Well, I'm guessing they didn't eat you yet, I guess. And this, of course, is another video right here, and yeah, that kind of that doesn't look like a baby one. Oh wait, maybe that is a baby one. Okay, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's always nice to see those like fry sometimes and. Like wait, what? You're 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 still in the tank. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, yeah, I, I do. I do want to think that. Uh, uh, yeah, I do think I was right then. The gold mountain minnows. That's what I want to say. Not albino ones. Gold mountain minnows. So, anyways, uh, good night, everyone, and hope you have a great day. And I'll probably, hopefully, see you shortly again at some point in time. Mm -hmm.